går det ikke. Ja.
Yeah, g'day guys. Back out camping. This is um Epic Grabine, Wangler Dam, I think it is. I'm here with my son Charlie, and we're just um setting up the camper trailer. We're gonna be here for a few nights. So I thought I brought the camper trailer along. We can both fit in here nice and easy and um be nice and warm because it's gonna be phew, about zero degrees, one to zero degrees Celsius here. So um yeah, so we thought we'd bring a camper trailer, might be a bit easier. So brought the little fire pit. Charlie's just setting up the chairs for us and we just cracked open our first beer. Um yeah, you see we just set up the camper trailer. Charlie did a bit of videoing for me, which is good. Saves me um setting things up. But um doesn't take that long to set up. Um but it's super comfy. So loving it. Um a quick look around the car. I finally got the GVM upgrade done on the suspension and man what a difference it makes. It's riding a little bit harder but I tell you what it makes a crack of a distant difference towing towing the um, camper. So it's fully loaded up there full fridge full set of waters the camper trailer we've got wood on board um, plus uh, both Charlie and I with our stuff so uh, it's fully set up so and it Toe beautiful. It's about three and a half hours, three and a half hours to get here, Charlie, you reckon? About, yeah, that. about that. Yeah, part, yeah, yeah, about three and a half hours it took us to get up here and cruise along and yeah. So pretty excited about this spot. Dead quiet, love it. Alright. I'll bring you back in a while. Alrighty, it's fire time. It's getting a bit chilly. Charlie's already rugged up. <laughs> He's got the lighter for us. So I brought, we've run out of the old crappy fire lighters and I'll show you the difference now. The old one, look, see how quickly it took me to light them. Well, this one takes no time at all. I've got four, bit of an overkill. Anyway. <sighs> so I read on the thing when I um, when I booked this place, it said to bring your own fire pit. Or say it needed a, a um, fire pit above ground or on legs and uh, anyway go on, right away Might need a just do that ah, don't want to burn myself what's i'm sorry i burnt myself on my birthday there you go straight away flame and that'll just continue on to the other bits and pieces the other bits look how quick that was compared to the other one yeah so like i was saying they um they told us that we, the, all fires should be in a um, off the ground fire pit. So I thought, oh, we'll just pack that. No biggie. That's the one I've got at home. I use it at home all the time. But then you look around and there's a fire pit there, there's a fire pit there, there's a fire pit over there. Anyway, the beauty of having a little fire pit like this is that we probably won't chew through as much wood as you would normally do in a fire pit like that because. As you know, the fires get bigger as you um as the night goes on. So anyway, this is what we just found, just laying around here. Are the campers are left there for us, so we'll get that going now. Like it's only three o'clock in the afternoon, and um, the suns are dipping, and it's getting chilly. So Charlie and I are just sitting here. Oh yeah, old Charlie feels. I don't know. I'm still in a, sh in, in a shirt, so I'm all right. But Charlie, I don't know. Anyway, he's going to learn a few lessons this weekend, I think, about cold. But, um, yeah, so we've still set up now. We've put the um, guide ropes out just in case it gets windy. You don't really need it at the moment, but anyway. You don't want to be getting up at 2 o'clock in the morning when the wind picks up trying to put guide ropes in. So we've whacked them out. It is such a nice spot. Lots of kangaroos around, I think you can see them. 
a lot of skippies, a lot of skippies. I mean, I'm surprised how many are here actually. A lot of kangaroos. Don't know what that is. I think it might be a heron. Looks like a heron walking true. So over this way, there's all cabins. There's a few little cabins. It's all part of the park. We're gonna sort of camp over here a little bit, but um, this has got a better view. <laughs> and plus, what we're thinking is when we leave, because no doubt, um, on the last day when we get to go up in the morning, um, we're gonna. Th this is gonna be wet. It's gonna be um, the 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 dew on the on the camp is gonna be pretty much so. The sun's going to be um, rising from over this direction, so it should rise and dry us out pretty quickly. That's the, that's the theory. We'll see what happens. All right. Yeah, so now we're just going to have some sausage sangers with a bit of onion. We gotta cook out the fire, but we started a little bit late with the fire. Time's getting on, we're getting hungry. Sun's going down, so I wanna cook before um before the sun goes down, so the reason I'm cooking this way too is not because the, the the cooker doesn't work on the camper, it's just that oh, I have no gas bottles. Yeah. I sort of ran out of time, I was going to refill the gas bottles at home, but I ran out of time. The gas bottle is actually sitting on the, on the deck um, with, the, um, with the heater, the deck on the, the heater on the deck, sorry. So anyway, uh, beautiful. Yeah, so we've got the fire going, but um, certainly not enough coals to cook on. So maybe um, later on we'll cook. We've got simple stuff we're cooking this trip away. It was not so much a last minute trip, but... Um, yeah, but we just working my butt off and um, didn't really have much time to plan. I've been getting the, the ute organised with the, um, sorted out with the suspension. So it's fully legal now, GVM upgrade. Fully done. So, yeah, it's been a busy week. I'm also, um, I fitted me spotlights to the front of the car. So they're all fitted. How sexy are they? They're all fitted, they're not wired up yet, but that goes in on uh, Monday to get wired up. So the car's pretty much, wow, I'm getting very close. I am think it's pretty much set for um for the trip in July. <sighs> Extremely happy with it. Extremely relieved. I didn't think I was going to get this far with it. But um, yeah, excellent. Okay, it looks like Charlie just got some good news. New job. Tell us all about it, Charlie. I'm not doing it on camera. Okay, don't want to do it on camera. Cut. Yeah, it's just cooking the rest of the um Yeah, it's just cooking the rest of the sausages. How good that? So I don't know if you can see them. A couple of kangaroos out there. More than a couple. There's a few. Just coming in to do a bit of um grazing. I don't want to get too close, I don't want to disturb them. I think. There's one there, I think he's the, um, the big male. Yeah, he's a male, look at him. They're coming for a feed. Having a look at me. Nice. Got the fire going. Charlie and I just had a, a um, sausage sanger. We're well, just going to cook up the rest of the sausages and just chew on them for the rest of the night. Plenty there. Really done. And um, yeah, we're going to kick back and enjoy the evening. Beautiful.
Oh, good morning. What an awesome night. Had a good night's sleep. Very quiet here. Um, but lots of um, wildlife. It's beautiful. So we don't really have much planned today. We're just going to chill out. Going to go for a walk. There's a little island over there we can go across and have a look at. If you can see all the kangaroos. See if I can zoom in a bit. There we go. Yeah, they're just, there's heaps of them about, absolutely heaps of them. This morning, you could hear them um, going past the camper, hopping away. Very cool. We're not used to kangaroos. So people just think they're a friendly little animal, but they can become aggressive if you um you get too close. Most of the time, they just they just hop off. What a cool little spot! I only walked about five ten minutes away from the camp, and then we're on the right on the edge of the um, of this little island. Well, they call it an island, but it is connected to the um, to the mainland or to the, the main campground. That's just beautiful. So all that's, the clouds up to burn off. Still got a bit to go here though. It's still a pretty low lying cloud, slowly getting burnt off by the sun. All right, lots of kangaroos about. They've all scattered from here because I've just walked down there. But they're all up in this area here and down into here as well. Okay, I think I might go back and um, start breakfast, I think. Beautiful. Okay, Meg. Right. Well, that's quite slowly burning off. Awesome. Bit of a bacon and egg, tasty, beautiful. Gonna turn into a glorious day by the looks of it. Doesn't seem to be too windy. No, no, there's no wind at all, is there? Just a slight little breeze. Beautiful.
All right, guys, another day done. Not quite done. Still a bit of the sun again. But um, just got the fire going. It's been a bit chilly once that sun dips behind the trees and stuff. Um, yeah, we haven't done much today. We've just clicked a little bit of firewood around the joint. Um, yeah, went for a walk. And pretty much just keep back and um, just enjoy the day. It was really good. Not much wind around or no wind. Look at it. Water's like glass. And um, yeah, just watching the birds go past and yeah, so yeah, we're going to have a kick back tonight. Um, going to listen to the footy on the radio later on. Don't know who's playing. Not Parramatta. Parramatta plays tomorrow night, so. <laughs> um, but no doubt we'll be here again here tomorrow night, so we'll probably listen to the game tomorrow night as well. So we had a cracking night last night. The, we had a full moon, stars. It was it was a really good night. So um, yeah, we didn't have much for lunch. We just had a couple of sangers, so it was good. Yeah, we got a couple of campers. Oh, I think they're from the other side. Those ones over there. So yeah, all good. Yeah, so, morning guys. Slowly packing up. It's been a good couple of days here. We've really enjoyed it. Um, seen lots of satellites at night and stars. Plenty of kangaroos and birds. And um, it's been a really good spot. I loved it. So, it's good getting out. Um, yeah, so we're slowly cap um, packing up the camp trailer. We're basically waiting for the, um, for the canvas to dry out a little bit. So, it's actually not looking too bad now. It's looking actually looking pretty good. Still a little bit damp. So, anyway, square things away. Charlie's already put his little mattress away. So, um, yeah, all right. So, I hope you enjoyed it. We certainly did. And we'll see you in the next one. Good one. Cool. Oh. 